अरविंद केजरीवाल दिल्ली गवर्नमेंट अनाउंस्ड अ मेगा पोल गैम्बिट यस्टरडे मुख्यमंत्री महिला सम्मान योजना अंडर विच रूपीज वन थाउजेंड विल बी गिव इन टू एवरी डेली वेमेन वोटर इफ दे आर नॉट टैक्स पेयर्स गवर्नमेंट पेंशन बेनिफिशियरीज और यू नो गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉयज आई एम ज्वाइन बाई डेली फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर आतिशी मैम फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट्स अ मेगा पोलिटिकल अनाउंसमेंट इलेक्टोरल अनाउंसमेंट इफ यू कैन कॉल इट but where will you get that money for many people are asking that question see first of all one needs to understand that in the last 9 years many steps have been taken by delhi government for empowering women uh when we look at our government schools the greatest impact has been on the girls who study there when we look at our uh, mohalla clinics women constitute almost 80% of the beneficiaries who get treated there when we look at our free bus travel scheme so the delhi government has constantly been working for the empowerment of women so this is not the first time that a scheme of this kind has been introduced for women it has come as a culmination of the many things we have been doing in all these years second delhi government is the only government across the country that does not run into fiscal deficit all other governments across the country have huge fiscal deficits delhi is the only uh, state which has consistently had a fiscal surplus right this is despite the fact that we give free electricity we give free water we give free bus rides to women we give high quality free education high quality free healthcare so that means delhi government the arvind kejriwal government knows how to balance its budget it knows how to run an efficient government where we sort of have best use of resources for the people of delhi so you're saying the money is there it's not a big deal uh, but by when this uh, scheme will be effective number 1 and when is that first message on the uh, you know phones of uh, women beneficiaries uh, would come so now that the model code of conduct is likely to come any day Uh, the notification of this scheme is only likely to happen after the lok sabha elections then with some time for completion of all formalities of all documents for them to be uploaded i think around september october women can expect that first sms of the deposit of the first 1000 rupees into their bank accounts okay you know bob it's quite interesting that uh, in delhi you have announced 1000 in himachal pradesh uh, the government has announced 1.5000 rupees per month for the women uh the bjp i'm sure and you would be expecting as well uh, would be ready to turn it as uh, another chapter in aam aadmi party's political revdi uh, uh, culture revdi culture as they call it and uh, is it aam aadmi party india blocks new plank in the election season see bjp when they attack and abuse aam aadmi party arvind kejriwal call our schemes revdi revdi culture hmm. i have one simple question of them if they have a problem with how we run our government if they have a problem with our schemes if they want to criticize them why don't they show something better themselves they have governments in so many states why are they so, so obsessed with delhi and with arvind kejriwal mm. they have governments in gujarat in madhya pradesh uh, in uttar pradesh in so many states they have been in power for years mm. if they don't think that arvind kejriwal does a good job for the people of delhi they should show something better in gujarat they should show how they give 24 24/7 electricity they should show how they can have better government schools they should show how they can empower women better but they have no plan for that But the only thing that they know how to do is to abuse arvind kejriwal in the morning then to abuse him in the afternoon then to abuse him at night But is it a mega plank by the india block as well you know you have done it in delhi punjab is also i, I believe in the pipeline itself uh, uh, india blocks uh, another uh, ally in himachal pradesh uh, making a similar promise so are you thinking that if you are able to get the women vote, voter on board it will be easier task for you in the lok sabha elections see women voters have always been inclined towards aam aadmi party in 2013 when we contested elections for the first time when it was not known whether this party would succeed or fail whether we would win or lose women actually fought with their families and came out and voted for arvind kejriwal pressed the evm at the jhadu symbol uh, in 2013 itself so women have been natural voters of aam aadmi party aam aadmi party and arvind kejriwal have delivered better lives to the women of delhi but i think what women now also understand is 
that Arvind Kejriwal faces a lot of crisis at every step to implement people-oriented policies. So I think this Lok Sabha election has to be about strengthening the hands of Arvind Kejriwal so that he can continue to work for the people yeah, of Delhi. Chief Minister had said as well, you know, a uh, quick question. Uh, what's the ambit of this uh, particular scheme that you're looking at? Uh, because uh, we understand that more than 63 uh, lakh uh, women voters are in the national capital. That number is to get revised further. So what is the ambit that you're looking at? See, our own assessment is that approximately 80% of those women would be eligible for this scheme. So maybe around 45 to 50 lakh uh, women uh, are eligible. We'll see how many of them uh, choose to apply. Why have you kept the taxpayers out of it, just out of kilos? Because they don't need it. Uh, if you are a taxpayer or if you are a government employee, then you already have that money. Uh, you already have that money coming in. Final question: You know, uh, the BJP's uh, mega narrative is on the Ram, Ram Mandir. It seems that Aam Aadmi Party is also shifting gears ever since the inauguration of Ram Temple in Ayodhya. You are uh, terming your own budget as Ram Raj budget, uh, equating Chipness Arvind Kejriwal to Lord Ram. So, are you trying to play on the pitch of the BJP because of the Lok Sabha elections? See, in fact, it's the other way around. It's BJP who remembers uh, Lord Ram at the time of elections. Otherwise, their actions and their party leaders are far closer to Ram than they are to Lord Ram. If you were to see the number of cases of mm. crimes against women that exist in any political party, the highest would be in Bhartiya Janta Party. You see, any leader caught under any corruption case, any EDCBI case, automatically joins Bhartiya Janta Party. Really? Is this the footsteps of Bhagwan Ram? Of course not. Second, what has Bharatiya Janata Party done in any of its states to really bring the principles of Ram Rajya into governance? Nothing. They only think of Bhagwan Ram at the time of elections. Aam Aadmi Party and Arvind Kejriwal have been working on bringing Ram Rajya for the last nine years, improving the lives of every person, especially the last person in Delhi. Thanks a lot for speaking. Today, so right there, Delhi Finance Minister Atishi is saying that Delhi has the required money to provide this particular uh, Mahila Samman uh, Yojana, and it will be around August September 2024 that the first installment could actually reach the beneficiaries. On the other side, the Aam Aadmi Party is now accusing the BJP of using Ram as electoral plank.